in brain contains bones middle of lungata reticular formation okay and also cerebellum so hind brain in hind brain are uh, sometimes also some person say it hind brain hind brain okay so that is the posterior most part hmm? this is the the posterior the, the back part of our brain okay uh, that is the posterior most part i mean the posterior word we use for to denote for back i mean if someone something is located in comparison to something other towards the back then we say posterior okay we use the term posterior so this is the posterior most part which consists of nerves which are going from brain and they are uh, going to reaching to different parts of our body for particular kind of instructions for particular kind of commands okay and it contains pons also there are and reticular formation medulla oblongata so these are certain important amid cerebellum also so here you can see here in the ms okay i mean this is the you know, this hind brain this is the portion of hind brain okay here is the pons here you can see reticular formation reticular formation actually consists of certain kind of web like structures they are web like structures they consist of nerves okay so it is because of them they do have a particular kind of functionality it is through them okay that we are capable to control our attention we are capable to control our arousal level we are uh, able to control our whatever i mean attention also that we have or uh, some other kind of in uh, some other kind of activities also reticular formation uh, actually plays some part so reticular formation and medulla oblongata they are very very important in terms of spiritual growth okay yes so so myelin saphenoid is the closest to uh, spinal cord okay myelin saphenoid is the closest i mean this is the posterior most that is why we say that is it is the posterior most part of our brain okay it is very close to our spinal cord and then uh, let us discuss a few bits of information about reticular formation so reticular formation there are actually 100 tiny nuclei okay and they are central core of our brain stem hmm? what are brain stem uh, brain stem means all other parts which are there other than telencephalon okay so all other parts other than telencephalon and sometimes also we say other than cerebellum they are termed together as brain stem okay so only 100 tiny nuclei are there part of reticular formation and they appear like a web they appear like a net net like net you would have seen net i mean just as while playing badminton you would have seen net so they are they are have web like structures okay they have a very important function which uh, they play uh, with regard to sleep with regard to attention with regard to whatever movement whatever muscle tone that we have whatever cardiac functions which happen in our body respiratory uh, respiratory functions circulatory systems which are operating there in our body okay so you can see that whenever we do some kind of meditation some kind of concentration some kind of yoga then these are certain important aspects which get influenced which get improved as a result of meditation okay then friends so before that we we have discussed about myelin saphenoid reticular formation would be clear and now let us discuss about myelin saphenoid okay myelin saphenoid comes after i mean from the if we are taking that the journey of the brain if we are starting from the posterior most part of our brain then first of all there would be myelin saphenoid and myelin saphenoid consists of what myelin saphenoid consists of medulla oblongata and reticular formation 
in particular. And uh, reticular formation is in particular very important for attention. It plays a very important role in uh, whatever arousal that we have. Okay, And uh, then in other activities also it takes part. And medulla oblongata actually plays a very important role in our basic survival uh, biological functions, for example, whatever heart rate that we are having, whatever breathing that we are having, and all that is being controlled through our medulla oblongata. Okay, there are certain particular kind of nerves, there are certain particular kind of um, cranial nerves which arise from there. Okay, and they control our these uh, particular parts of our body. Then, friends, we are uh, going to discuss about metencephalon. Okay, metencephalon here means what? Metencephalon particularly consists of. I mean, these are particular organs. These are particular regions of the brain which are considered together to constitute metencephalon. Metencephalon consists of bones on ventral surface and cerebellum, a large structure on the dorsal area. Hmm? So when we use the word ventral, ventral here means what? Ventral means something which is on the lower side. Okay. And when we, whenever we use the word, uh, I mean dorsal, dorsal means something which is on the upper okay. side. Upper side, right? Very good, very good, Peter. So cerebellum is on the upper side, that is in the structure, I mean dorsal area, and pons are in the ventral surface, that, that they are in, uh, I mean, lower side. Okay, so that should be very clear. So friends, metencephalon consists of uh, pons and cerebellum, right? So cerebellum is a, a very important part of our brain. Actually, whatever balance that we are able to maintain whenever we walk, whenever we talk, okay? So that kind of balance in whatever moment that we undertake uh, is because of cerebellum, okay? And also recently, it has been found that cerebellum also plays some role in decision-making also, in language also. Mm. And it consists of certain ascending and uh, I mean this metencephalon. Metencephalon particularly consists of certain ascending and descending tracts of reticular formation, creating a bulge on the brain stem's ventral surface called as bones, and then cerebellum also be included in it. Okay, so let us discuss overall structure and function of brain. So hind brain is essentially, you can say, a continuation of a spinal cord. You know, sometimes it is considered in that way also. So medulla oblongata is the part of the brain stem, which is the closest to the spinal cord, right? I mean, since myelencephalon, myelencephalon is closest to the spinal cord. OK, and in the myelencephalon, it is medulla oblongata, which is the closest to the our spinal cord. OK, and the pons act as a relay station, a relay station carrying impulses from various parts of the cerebral cortex to the cerebellum. They are like junctions. You'd have listened about, you'd know about junction just as we have a railway junction. Anna. So Haridwar is a railway junction. Delhi is a railway junction. So. In uh, any railway junction, what happens? Uh, trains come through. They are coming from different parts, different nooks and corners of the country, different regions. And then they are going to some other part. I mean, if the trains are coming from, one is from Jhansi, this, uh, what is that? I mean, Southern Railway. Mm. Certain trains which are coming from Southern Railway, Southern side of the country and they are going towards to the the eastern side so they will come to delhi and then from delhi there is another railway line that is going towards assam that is going towards nagaland and some other parts okay so that the same kind of the role i mean just like a junction i mean bones are like uh, bridge also or some kind of junctions also you know so they play a kind of role like that, okay? So through them, there are certain different kind of impulses from different parts of our cerebral cortex. They are coming and they reach to the cerebellum. Okay, 
then reticular formation runs through the middle of in brain okay as you would have seen in the structure also the image which was displayed there and then it enters the mid brain and receives sensory impulses from higher brain centers and then passes on sorry then passes on this information further to thalamus thalamus is also a relay center okay there are certain particular parts of our brain which act as a relay relay center means relay center means uh, i mean that particular place that particular region that particular part uh, where all the information is being accumulated all the information is being integrated all the information is coming together hmm? and then that is being further transferred or shifted or submitted okay to other reasons 